This is a short video clip to demonstrate how to release your Pacific Plus wind pilot should it have seized. I'll make a couple of references to part numbers so it would be useful to have your instruction manual to hand. Before we go any further we have to thank Brian Thurlow of BVTE based in Cochin, India, our sailing and engineering guru who has helped a number of boats here get out of sticky situations. Should you find yourself in India please contact him via this email. He's a keen sailor himself but also works in a commercial boatyard and has access to a lot of tools you won't have room for on your boat. We should also like to thank Pacific Plus designer Peter Forthman who over the Christmas period was on call with immediate email response to our issues and provided some useful tips. Now considering we bought the unit second hand off another boat this is excellent after sales service if you ask me. I should add that over our 4,000 mile trip from Europe to India, our Pacific Plus performed admirably. It really is the greatest piece of kit we've ever bought for our boat, Esper, an Oyster 435. But if like us you were silly enough to not properly winterize your Pacific Plus when not in use, over time the Teflon bearings parts 506 and 507 inside the vertical shaft part 600 will seize. The trick is to apply a horizontal movement, the same that is applied when the unit is in use. However, if you semi-winterise like we did, we turned the rudder around so that it was pointing inwards towards the boat. This meant the brass and aluminium gears on each unit, parts 530 and 380, could not be engaged. So the answer was to build a plate that sits on top of part 530 and uses bolt 520 to hold it in place and use two welded levers to apply the same force that's applied by the gears themselves. Here's a schematic of the plate. Obviously this is not something the average boat owner is able to construct themselves so this drawing might come in useful for those looking to take it to the local industrial estate to get made and I'll put this up on the website followtheboat.com uh, next to the video clip. Anyway, let's go over to the fun bit. This is our able assistant Gladwin. Wave to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is what uh, Brian and Gladwin have been working on. Is a bracket uh, with two uh, lever yeah. uh, mounts, I suppose, offset at 45 degrees to each other. And the idea is, is this is going to sit on top of the uh, of the Pacific. Uh, drop down on top. We're going to screw it in at this point here and then these two bolts will literally just drop down either side they're not going to be done up but they'll drop down either side let's just have a look underneath and so you can see get a bit of sunlight on that those bolts are going to drop down inside and just hold the thing in position so Gladden if we go and put it on let's take that um, we don't even have to take off this bracket here there we go So that's dropped into position and then we'll literally just put now I actually lost my black knob which goes on the top here so I just have to use a, a nut so literally it's just hand tight um, also Brian made a point of saying that he hasn't welded these on too tight either because if there's too much resistance uh, we want that weld to break, break rather than inside there so that's the bracket fitted if we get the pipes on now so we've got two pipes here now the reason for doing this by the way the problem that we had was that uh, we weren't able because when I'd winterized this I had uh, turned the rudder around inside on itself so that it wouldn't hit the uh, the pontoon here and consequently it froze up with the gears inside so I wasn't able to put the uh, outside paddle on and engage the gears. The gears were stuck inside here we couldn't get to them so that's why we're doing what we're doing. So glad when if you get those bars on. Uh, the one other thing that we did do was to pour hot water around the outside around here uh, because aluminium expands very rapidly with hot water and then with a bit of brute force, just carefully, but with a bit of brute force, if you'd like to demonstrate Gladwin. Yep, we were eventually able to 
turn it, we're actually moving the whole boat. Uh, the other thing we did as well was to put some silicon spray inside to get to the Teflon bearing inside here. Um, don't use WD-40, it's a corrosive and it's not very kind to Teflon. Uh, so the silicon spray did the trick. Of course we have the advantage that we had Brian here with all his equipment to build this bracket in the first place, so we're very fortunate. Uh, but this is the trick. We originally tried to move this shaft up, up and down, and it didn't like the horizontal, the, the vertical movement. So it's the horizontal movement that Peter, the designer, suggested to us, and sure enough, it's worked. So I think what we do now is now that we've actually got it loose. Um, We'll put the paddle back on, we'll actually turn this thing round all the way to its correct position and then eventually we'll take it off and give it a good clean. That's a uh, job well done. DJ NYK.